So the purpose of this task is to get some information about your auditory abilities. If someone has difficulty hearing, they can come to the clinic, and in the clinic there are tests that are performed, and those tests will identify that hearing loss. But sometimes that person will have difficulties that cannot be identified by a test in the clinic, and that's what we call hidden hearing loss. We're looking for tons of people for this research study. Uh, we need adults with normal hearing, with hearing loss, um, and people who have a history of loud noise exposure, and people that don't. This particular one is about your noise exposure history, so what types of noises you've been around in the past. The target noise exposure history that we look for is someone who has been around loud impact noise, and by that we mean any gunfire or explosions. Someone in the military might be a good target for us, but other people who've done recreational hunting or shooting, people in law enforcement, people with those types of backgrounds. Assuming people do qualify, then we jump into all of the study procedures that we do, and that's a variety of different hearing tasks we all do here in the lab. Some participants actively participate in and give us feedback about the different sounds and speech that they're hearing. I'm just gonna put this earphone in your ear. Others, they get to sit and relax while we make some measurements that the ear and the hearing nerve in the brain produce on their own. To get through all of that typically takes us two visits that are each about two hours long. If you put your head forward just a little bit. We're looking for um, about 500 people to do this study. We provide uh, $15 an hour for your time, and that's paid in cash at the end of each visit. So what we would like to do is develop a diagnostic procedure for hidden hearing loss using tests that are research-based, but eventually we want to use clinical tests. A lot of people struggle with speech understanding and noise and other hearing difficulties. And for a long time, they were just being dismissed. Oh, if a clinical procedure cannot identify you as having hearing loss, you are fine, go home. And our research will be able to offer confirmation to those people that you, you know the hearing problems that you are going through, uh, this hidden hearing loss. And possibly, once we know that people have hidden hearing loss, treatment can be developed to help those people.